Hello and welcome to my very first video on YouTube. I aim for this channel to be about crafting ceramic crabs, hence the name crab crafting. And today I'm going to do my favorite kind of crab, which is a hermit crab. The first thing you want to do is wedge your clay. This gets all the air bubbles out. If you have unwedged clay and you make a sculpture with air bubbles in it, when you put it in the kiln, it might explode and ruin your hard-earned art. So. This is how you wedge clay. You just smack it against your surface a couple times. And that should be properly wedged. Now when you're making a hermit crab, the first thing I usually make is the shell. So how you're going to make that is you're going to roll out a coil of clay, like I'm doing right now. going to sort of want it to taper at one end and then you're going to roll that coil up like so until you've got it in the shape that I'm demonstrating right about now and so when you make this shell um, if your clay isn't quite moist enough, sort of like mine isn't quite moist enough, you'll get these little cracks. And so the way to fix those is just wet your finger and run it over the cracks and smooth it out. So after you've smoothed your shell down, you're actually going to want to, we'll have to take this apart very briefly to score and slip it. Um, you see, you need to score and slip your clay at points of contact to make sure there are no air bubbles in there. So how you do that is you take a needle tool. You can use a toothpick or a knitting needle or whatever you have on hand. A fork will also do. And you're going to cross hatch it just like I'm doing here. You're also going to want to do that to the top because if you just have one side that's scored it won't make that connection, and you might get air bubbles. And scoring and slipping also just helps the uh, structural strength of this clay. I'm going to do that with the next section of shell here. You're going to want to moisten the site uh, where you score and slip so that you can really get it to stick there. Okay. Now that you got your shell, we can smooth it down a little and fix the minute details. But that should be the shape you're trying to achieve. Now, as you can see, there's an opening in the shell here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a little clay ball and I'm going to plug it up. Right, okay, so we're going to score the top of that ball. You gotta score and slip everything you put on your clay sculpture, every point of contact. Otherwise, it might fall apart. That's happened to me a couple times. In fact, I recorded a video before this one that was supposed to be my first video on this channel. Hermit Crab fell apart because I didn't do my scoring and slipping right, so I'm gonna be careful with that this time. Next up, we're going to do the legs. So how you make the legs for the Hermit Crab, well, how I make the legs for the Hermit Crab, rather, you're going to need to roll an oval, and here I'm just going to moisten my clay because it's a little dry, and I want it to be a little more moist. So, first, just roll a sphere in your hands. Once you've got your sphere, just roll it like this until you have an oval. Like that. Next, you're going to want to split it right down the middle, and I have a little clay knife here that I'm going to do that with. So you have two halves, like that. To get the shape of the legs, first I'm going to smooth these rough edges with my thumb. And then you'll bend it like this way a little, so that it's bent like in a crescent moon shape. So you also do that with this other one. 
going to set those aside for now. I also like to make a pair of smaller legs. And so I'm rolling a second sphere here. So then you get two much tinier legs. These big ones will go to the front and these ones will go out to the sides. Smooth the edges, bend the legs. Okay, we've got a full set there. And I'm going to score the site of where I'm gonna put the legs on, which is right up front here. I should point it towards you guys, huh? Yeah, right there. So I'm just scoring the entire site just to make sure I've got plenty of space to affix the legs. You're just gonna score the like frontmost portion of these. Remember to wet the scored parts. And then you're going to press that right on. So as you can see, those legs are in the front. And then we're going to score the sides. And so then when you put this down, you should be able to stand up like that. And this is the part where we put the head on. How I make the head is I'm going to roll out another coil like we did for the shell. This one will not be tapered, but when you're rolling your coil in your hands, it's gonna naturally taper anyway. Just cut off the part that you want. It's a little dry, you can see it's cracked, so. I'm going to moisten and elongate it, then bend it, so that the eye stalks are equal in length, like that. Then I want them to come out like about here, so the rest I'm just going to smooth over with my thumb. Yeah, so now we got two eye stalks. So to hold the eyes, they're going to be like a little bowl shaped. So I'm just going to put my finger on each eye stalk and rotate it a couple times to get that bowl shape. So now we got a head. I'm going to have them facing slightly apart from each other and tilt it up. Like that. Next up, Hermit Crab needs eyes. So... You're gonna want two equally shaped eyes, so if you wanna make sure they're perfectly equally shaped, you can make two by rolling a sphere, cutting it in half, and then rolling each half back into a sphere to make two eyes. You gotta sort of eyeball the amount of clay it'll take to make these eyes, cause uh, you don't want them too big for the head, you know? I mean, you could do that, but it would weigh down the eye stalks a little. And that's a problem that in this video we are going to avoid. So, of course, I score and slip the eyes. And the eye stalks to ensure we get that good connection that will not fall apart. When both of them have been scored, it's time to put the eyes on. There we go. Now, this eye stock needs to dry in this position. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to prop it up on some clay there, and I'm going to let it get leather hard. So I'll see you in what will be like 10 minutes for me and like one second for you. All right, well, that should be enough time. In this heat, it did not take long at all. Okay, so I'm sure you probably know what I'm gonna do next. I'm going to score and slip where I'm going to attach it, which is right on top of the legs. And I'm going to score and slip the bottom. 
Actually, we're going to press it out a little, make it a little flatter so that it doesn't get in the way of the shell, of course. We're going to wet those right there. You know what? This is a little too long. I'm going to have to lop a bit off. There we go. Score, slip, wet, and attach. I've got a little tool that can help me uh, reach those hard to reach places. If you don't have this, you could use uh, a small spoon to do that. These eye stalks are way longer than I thought they'd be. Typically, I make them shorter. But why not try something new? So actually, those eye stalks still need something to support their weight, so I'm propping them up on a piece of uh, my, my waist clay, as you can see. I've got some of that. You don't always use as much as you think you will. Okay, so next up, we're going to make uh, something to adorn this shell. What I'm gonna put on this shell, I'm thinking barnacles. How to do that? Roll a sphere, press it down on your flat surface like this. So that's more of a, a semicircle, like that. Uh, wind, and then, this or the um, non-spoon end of a spoon, you know, like the, the handle, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, you're going to notch it once, twice, maybe even three times until it resembles a barnacle. If you've never seen a barnacle, take my word for it. They look exactly like this. I made a couple of them off camera. And what we're gonna do is, of course, score and slip them onto the hermit crab. And I was at the beach with a friend the other day, and I saw like the coolest snail shell ever. I don't know if a hermit crab could wear it, but there was all sorts of something growing out of it. I'm not sure if it was a plant or something else, but I'm going to make a design inspired on that, maybe next video, we'll see. So now, going to place your barnacles on various places on your hermit crab shell. Just score, slip, and affix the barnacle. Give it a little twisty. Make sure it's in place. I'm gonna put one right on the top here. And now that all the barnacles have been affixed, I'm going to leave it to dry a little longer because the neck's kind of unstable. But once it's leather hard, which is when it's like firm, still bendy, but not totally soft like plastic clay is, that's right out of the bag. Then I'm going to move it to a more sunny spot so it can completely dry. I think it's ready to move. All right, we're done. The crab is bone dry, which means it is completely finished and cannot be worked on anymore. The next step is, of course, to fire it. Uh, I don't have a kiln. I'm going to college soon, and I might have access to one there. But for now, this is it. Sorry for the crispy audio. I'm recording this from my computer. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. And if you want to see more, consider subscribing. I might do a new video soon. We'll see. Anyway, bye for now.